What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Woods Bass Fishing. A lot of you on Instagram have requested a tackle tour, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. I have so much stuff, I'm going to go over it as quick as I can because I don't want to make this video long. But I know a lot of you guys asked for it, so this is about a 4 foot, 3 foot table, and uh, my tackle goes all the way up to the top. So um, I'll get to the video now and I hope you guys enjoy. This first box is just for my... Uh, when I target bluegills and crappies, as you can see, it's got all the basic stuff in there: jig heads, hooks, uh, weights, and uh, bobbers and stuff like that. Just a lot of stuff that you typically find when you're targeting bluegill. Not much to explain in that box, especially since I'm a bass fisherman. So let's move on to the next box. Just set that one on the floor. This box is full of my Deep Creek Lure Soft Plastics. Those of you that follow me on Instagram know this ton of plastics in here. I mean, that's gotta be like 30 bags. And if you guys haven't seen Deep Creek Lures yet, if you haven't checked them out yet, highly recommend them. Awesome baits. Really good stuff. I'm not gonna take all these out individually because, um, I bet take way too much time. But I'll take out a few. This is a 6.5 inch Magic Finesse Worm, Bumblebee colored. These are just some of the Unique and popular baits that they sent over. These are going to be awesome. Carolina Shad Salt and Pepper. Those look awesome. Um, I like these ones too. These are the KD Bug Craws. I'm going to have to pick up some of those before opener. And we got these massive 11 inch Green Pumpkin Magic Remy's. Those are just a few things. Um, so much more and so much more variety obviously. But I don't want to make this video 20 minutes, so I'm going to move on. I can barely even close this box. They also make uh, terminal stuff like shaky heads and all that, so if you're interested in that, definitely check them out. I always leave their website in the description. Let's move on to this. I just use this Lucky Tackle Box as a storage box. These are some of my Not Deep Creek Lure Soft Plastics. We got some some uh, stick baits, some Sankos, some Craws. Some uh, search baits. These are tiny. These are for bluegills. The rest of these are just Sankos. So, not much to see there as well. So, I'll throw those all in there and get on to the next box. Definitely, if you guys enjoy these type of videos, I'd find it kind of boring. But some of you guys might like just seeing what I have for tackle. So, if you enjoy, definitely drop a comment down below and hit that thumbs up button. Um... In this box, it's just sort of random stuff. We got some stuff that I got from NPS. That link will be in there too. It's an app that gives you free fishing numbers. Some hoo rags. Lots of stickers. Um, lots of M NPS stickers. I got like 30 of those. So many NPS stickers. Some more craws. More craws. A couple Sankos from a company that sent me. They sent me a couple Sankos. Knockout tackle there on Instagram. Um, this is just a ton of random stuff. Once we get to the actual plastic boxes, it'll be a little more organized. This is just all the stuff I've gotten over the winter that I don't really feel like organizing. This next box though is my baits that I make. Some, all these are for sale. I mean, I'm not keeping any of these. I mean, I might keep some, but we got the frogs, the swim bait. Um, crimson croc rank baits, jerk baits, pretty straightforward there, and some line. Move on to the next box. These boxes are the best ones now. So this box is my crank bait box. Now, if you guys don't know, crank baits is definitely one of my go-to lures. Not my number one. I'll show you that in a bit. But. I have a lot of crankbaits, as you can see. This is not even all of them, but definitely a lot. All different kinds, too. These are the Storm ones. These are really expensive ones. I only have one of them because I do not feel like, feel like spending that much on a crankbait. I'll get my couple favorite colors here. So this is a basic chartreuse color. I really like this color. I mean... I don't know why the fish like it, but I seem to have luck on that. And then we got a natu more la natural looking color, which is bluegill. And of course, your go-to sexy shad color. 
which I also paint as well, so if you want to order, I now have a website, so I'll link that down below. Well, I'll show you a few more. I got some Deep Divers. This thing's huge. It came into my Lucky Tack box. This is a 20-foot diver, I'm pretty sure. And I got, it ranges from huge ones like that to tiny ones like this. I mean, I got all sizes. And some lipless as well. All of these are good options. You gotta have an option for every single situation. Because you don't know what they're going to be biting on. So now let's move on. This is my favorite box, probably. This is my jig box. And I just ordered nine jigs from Cavs Creek Jigs, so uh, it's going to get a lot more full. But as you guys can see, I like jigs. And on the bottom row, those are my trailers that I typically put on. The uh, paddle tails are for... The paddle tails are for my chatterbaits, and the crows are for my jigs. So all these are a few chatterbaits. These ones are some weird ones that I wanted to try out from uh, eBay. Wouldn't recommend them, but still use them. And we got some... I'll go over these. I'm going to go over these ones thoroughly because they're my favorite. We got a ton of little jigs this size from eBay as well. It was like a 20-pack. Just wanted to try. Wouldn't recommend these either because the hook is absolutely tiny. But, I mean, we got... They're easy to store because they're so small. Three colors right here. Two of these watermelon ones or whatever. Four of these natural colored ones. Now we get on to the good stuff. These are the Calves Creek Jigs. This is a more natural watermelon color. Watermelon green pumpkin. This is just the green pumpkin. Green pumpkin and black. I'll give you a little detail on that one. Zoom in. I forget what this color's called, but it's definitely killer. It's a natural... It's a yellow and green pumpkin with a little bit of blue, which is good. Actually, one of my go-tos from last year is very similar. The blue and the green, at least. Just different shades. Show you guys that one up close. And this one's another natural color which is brown and a little lighter green shade and light brown. And obviously I ordered these, they sent these to me just to try out. I have to order my go-tos, peanut butter jelly, uh, black and blue, green pumpkin, all that stuff. Just ordered that. Here's another one from Cabs Creek. It's a uh, yellow and black. Looks pretty cool. Definitely have to try some of these out in the spring. Now we move on to, uh, I have one single Arky brand jig. I think I got it at Walmart a while ago. This is a craw color. Definitely a good color. And then we got my favorite jigs besides Cavs Creek, which are Outcast Tackle RTX Swim Jigs. This is the color I showed you earlier. And we got the my go-to best favorite jig of all time, the Peanut Butter Jelly. Outcast RTX Swim Jig, which is a very good color. The head's two different colors, and the jig skirt's many different colors. Caught the muskie on it, caught so many bass on it. Now we move on to some more chatterbaits. This is a natural colored chatterbait with a fire tail trailer. Just a little grub trailer. Love this chatterbait. And a little different colored one, we got a white chatterbait. Well, I'll set this one down first. A white colored chatterbait. Good for certain conditions. All you really need for chatter race and jig is guys is if you have a favorite color that's good for you in your location, use that. Green pumpkin, black and blue, and peanut butter jelly, which is definitely my favorite. Yeah, then we got the trailers, green pumpkin craws, and another color that I like is summertime, which is half green pumpkin and half chartreuse which is a killer and black and blue of course and that's all I need that's all I use for trailers and I use uh sorry about that I use paddle tails for my chatterbait trailers these ones are a bit big but they still work definitely guys just a little tip if you're at a place that's really pressured throw a paddle tail on the end of your spinnerbait no one ever throws uh, trailers on the spinnerbait, and it'll definitely get the fish's attention. If you use something a little different, I'll move on to my next box. Also, one of my favorites. This is a top. This is my top water box. 
I'll open it up so you guys can see all the contents and I'll go over it a little bit. Overall, probably the funnest box that I have. This is a little popper from Ice Strike Fishing. I'll give you guys a little close up of that. Here's a Cabela's Mean Eye Popper as well. Definitely a good one. I'll hold it so you guys can actually see it. Then, one of my favorite topwater lures to throw, which are frogs. I have regular frogs like these, which are awesome. And we got the popper frogs as well. I mean, you guys can tell I like this kind because I have two of them. These are the Spro. A little spendy, but good lure. Spro popper frogs. And to mix it up, I did a little challenge video on this. I don't know if you guys remember that. A spro frog, just a little, this is like 50 cents. Not really good. Then we got a couple of uh, jitterbugs. I don't use these much. I've caught a couple of fish on them this year, but they look pretty cool in the water, but I don't know. I'm not sold on them yet. And definitely one of the classics, Hula Popper. Caught my personal best on this one right here and got hooked in the hand with this one, so I'm not, I'm not sure how I feel about that one. We got natural color, and then we got the black and white, which is also very good. And this came in my National Anglers Association box. This is a buzz frog. Definitely an interesting bait. I haven't used it a whole ton. A whole lot, I mean. And this is a little plastic frog that you can buy in like eight packs. And I got a ton of buzz baits here. I'm not going to take those out because you guys know what those are. A little head in top water spook. That is a great pattern. I haven't used spooks much, but I'll definitely use them more next year. And a whopper plopper. Definitely my most expensive top water lure. I don't use these much either, and I definitely should because I spent like 11 bucks on this thing, which is kind of outrageous, but. You gotta try new things, guys. So that's my top water box. As you can see, I'm decked out in all these stickers. Like, and if you want to pick any of these up, definitely, most of these are my sponsor stickers. Definitely check them out. DSF, Deep Creek Lures. I got some John B stickers on there because I won his giveaway. And my last official box before I get into the messy stuff is, uh, my pike box. Now I don't target northern pike. Oh, I shouldn't even call it my pike box. I should just call it my jerkbait box. I don't target pike much, but I got a lot of spoons in here. I got a lot of jerkbaits. A lot of... I don't even know what this is called. Comment down below if you know what this is called right here. I don't know what this is called either, but... This is a musky bait. That's what people say. That's what people have told me. Musky bait. Don't use these things a whole lot. Oh, I forgot to grab. I have a jerk bait right here, guys. This is the only one that I like to use. The Cabela's Mean Eye Suspending Jerk Bait. Great action on it. I'll throw that in here. And uh, this awesome jerk bait I got in my Lucky Tackle Box as well. Which. Looks like it was hand painted actually. I don't know what brand it is, but really long joke bait. And I think it's suspending, I'm not sure. I'll show you guys that in a better angle. So that's my jerk bait box. I'm not gonna go over all the colors and stuff. Typical colors I like to use are white, sexy shad. I sell sexy shad jerk baits as well if you want some pretty cheap too. Sexy shad, white. Um, normal colors you'd use on a crankbait. They don't really have bluegill jerkbaits, but... Now let's move on to the mess. Like, I don't... I don't even know how to... I can't even close this. It was just sitting on my floor. I'm gonna call this my swim bait box. I can't even get all this untangled, guys. I'll show it to you. You guys are just gonna see the spinnerbait and the... Swim bait. This is a swim bait I picked up. Actually, I got it for Christmas. Just a little five segment bluegill swim bait. Definitely have to try that out. Then we got chartreuse spinner bait. 
only spinnerbait color I use is chartreuse and white. A little swim bait. This is the end of a swim bait for my lucky tackle box, but the f it's a replacement part for the back. Not sure where the front is, guys, to be honest. Another chartreuse and white spinnerbait, my only color that I use. Guys, just saying, this isn't even all my tackle. Like, I still have some. This is just the stuff that I could find. There's still stuff, like, out in the garage and, obviously, laying around my room, but some of it I just couldn't find. These are some, uh, perch spinners. That one looks like a perch, at least. This one looks more like, I don't even know. This one won't even move. I'd call it rainbow trout. And this, definitely my least favorite lure of all time, storm lure. Gives you nothing but backlash. Now, I like these little storage boxes as well for jigs, but that's kind of off topic. They have a slew life spinnerbait. Shout out to them. Hook me up. Looks great. It's a white, and it's not a Colorado blade, but I'll still try it. Uh, I got this from NPS. These are just some paddle tails. This is random stuff. Hooks, bobbers. Speaking of which, speaking of those swim baits, look at this thing, guys. Massive swim bait from I Strike Fishing. Shout out to them for hooking me up, too. I appreciate it, but I wanted this for a challenge video, and they said, they said they gave it to me, so. Look at this thing. This thing's the size of my face. Look at this compared to my hand. The snap swivel is, like, the size of my finger, and the hook's... Like, look at the hook. Like, that's insane. Look at this, and look at this. The hook's the size of the bait. The hook's literally the size of the bait. That's crazy. I can't believe, like, musky fishermen... I mean, the action's gonna be awesome. I don't even know what I'm gonna use this on. The action's gonna be awesome, but... And it looks like a perch mixed with a rainbow trout. But literally, look at this. It's bigger than my hand. That's crazy. I knew I knew it was going to be 8 inches, but for some reason I thought it was going to be smaller than that. Just the hook size amazes me. Moving on from that, though, we got some soft plastics. Some more soft plastics. Black and blue. Go-to color. These are really old. My grandpa sent me some of these. Cross tubes. Empty. These are like craw tubes. Weird bait I got from the Lucky Tackle Box. These are some VM Hightail Shad Paddle Tails. Those look cool. Got those in my Lucky Tackle Box as well. Brush Hogs. Can't go wrong with Brush Hogs. These are some grubs. These are some frogs I got from the National Anglers Association Box. These actually look pretty awesome. You guys can't see, but... Here we got some ribbon tails. Some of these are really old. Not that. Here we got some vintage lures that my grandpa sent as well. And we got some more lures that my grandpa sent. Here's some miscellaneous worms. It's really cool, guys. Like, if you leave two different colors in a bag and, like, set it in the sun, like, that, the second Sango, it used to be white, now it's pink. So if you want to change your colors at all, this is a little rig for uh, Red Devil. These are some ice fishing baits, or crappie baits, whatever one you prefer. You can use them for both. Some more vintage lures and some more crappie baits. But otherwise, that's about it for this box. I'll just throw all this stuff in here quick, and we can move on to one more box. I think that's about it after this last box. Full of soft plastics. If you guys want to buy any of these, I don't need them anymore because I'm going to be uh, making the full switch to Deep Creek Lures. So if you want to buy any of these soft plastics, definitely let me know. Move on to the last box here. This is my Deep Creek Lures box. 
I purchased this box for $20 on Deep Pre Cooler's website, and it smells really bad because the garlic scent, so I'm not going to keep it open too long. You can see lots of different stuff in there. I'm going to close it up right now because it smells like garlic. Oh. Strong scent for the fish. Not for my bedroom, though. Not for my bedroom. I'm a little bit to the side. It seems to have moved over. I think that's about it for the video, though. Thank you guys. I'll pick you guys up here. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you like these type of videos, tackle tours, whatever, definitely drop a comment down below and hit that thumbs up button. I appreciate all of you watching so much. Stay tuned for another episode next week. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Woods Bass Fishing.